Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Scorpio, welcome to your tarot reading for October 17th to the 23rd. I hope you're doing really well today. Let's see what may be on the cards. I've got the nine card block here, Scorpio. Three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Scorpio, Wheel of Fortune, heart of the reading. This is around destiny, divine timing, and potentially change as well. You know, the Wheel of Fortune really is that big energy of karmic cycles closing and opening. You also have three pages, which is interesting. There's new energy here. There is change in its early stages coming through for you. So let's jump in with the oracles. I've got the sacred flow of yes. It feels like things are beginning to move and, and shift. I think that you're going to be shifting out of a period of resistance, out of a period of waiting, out of a period of struggle, where you can finally begin to create something here. I think we're dealing with some kind of partnership here, whether it's personal or professional or romantic. Two of Cups is here. Feed your artist. It feels like you're trying to create, trying to manifest, trying to realize some kind of outcome here. And I really feel that this is the week that we get some action with the Wheel of Fortune turning. And conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And we're moving into that eclipse season. And eclipses are really associated with uh, transformation life-changing transformation, you know, things really being released quite suddenly, new energy coming in quite suddenly, that really can shift or change your life entirely. Divine wisdom is your lead to energy. Now Scorpio, for me, this is actually an extra major arcana in this Moonchild Tarot, and for me this is around awakening, or it's kind of like a an elevated high priestess energy where you might be getting um, sacred knowledge coming through deep insights. Um, you know, you might be feeling that divine wisdom moving through you, or maybe divine wisdom is working in your life this week through that wheel of fortune, okay? Because the page of swords here for me at the bottom of the deck is these winds of change that are beginning to pick up in your sails here. Scorpio, and it just feels like there's enough of that wind, you know, gathering that's going to change the course of your boat, okay? It's going to steer you in a new direction. That is what I'm feeling. 
So you're coming from the Eight of Swords with the Two of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Now I have to say Scorpio, for me it feels like there has been some kind of challenge or struggle within a partnership, okay? Um, and I just feel that you are waiting for somebody to move towards you with what I'm feeling here. And it's been a long time coming. So this partnership, I feel that there is some kind of separation between it. Like I've got the Knight and Queen of Pentacles here with a Wheel of Fortune in between. It feels like there is a, a, a timing issue here, that there's been a waiting period here. Um, maybe it's something to do with children, with the three pages here. You might be waiting for someone to move towards you, but they can't until their children leave home, get to a certain age, um, you know, go through some kind of process here. You know, that the Eight of Swords for me is my hands are tied here. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that wants to move towards somebody, but you can't leave your current situation for whatever reason immediately. So the Eight of Swords is some kind of entrapment, but the cards are saying, Scorpio, it's really just perceived entrapment. There is a way through this, okay? You're really being asked to feel into this, to move with the sacred flow of yes, potentially overriding that sword's energy, which is, you know, the ego trying to keep you safe by telling you to stay where you are, that kind of energy. Sometimes the Eight of Swords is associated with guilt, you know, guilt of maybe, you know, disrupting a family, you know, for divine love or, you know, guilt of, you know, causing change, that sort of energy. The Nine of Wands here, you know, is around um, that you're very, very close to to leaving a stressful chapter behind. I mean, the Nine of Wands is just one wand away from the Ten of Wands, which is a huge sigh of relief, ending a, you know, a, a, a cycle that has really weighed you down or become a burden. And the Page of Wands down here has that final wand. And the Page of Wands is associated with good news or a message. So I feel like this week there is a message that comes in that might be just what you need to, to hear to really create change in this partnership and I'm feeling bringing it together after a period of separation or not being able to actually formulate this union because of other factors in either of you or both of your lives okay and it could be that one of you is already in a relationship the nine of wands for, for me sometimes is that feeling of looking over your shoulder you know there could even be a third party situation here but it's time for things to to come into clarity so i've got the knight of pentacles wheel of fortune queen of pentacles and whenever i get you know a tarot couple from the same suit you know, even though I know that Scorpio, you know, it's not your sign, this can signify divine union, okay? Now, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, and I feel that you've had to be very patient here, or you might be needing to be patient for a little bit longer, just a little bit longer before the Wheel of Fortune really shifts because maybe somebody is completing a karmic contract elsewhere, okay? They're needing to complete a karmic contract potentially around home, family, and children. So they might be, you know, trying to do the right thing there by creating a secure environment for children until they can, you know, feel okay and not feel guilty about moving forward towards you. So that is definitely coming through here. Um, it just feels like you, you need to stay focused for a little bit longer, patient for a little bit longer, but the Wheel of Fortune is getting ready to shift and change, and it is associated with a positive change of fortune out of this energy where it feels quite um, challenging, like a bit of a struggle, you know, like there's the lack of clarity. It feels like everything is moving. Now, the Page of Wands down here, as I mentioned before, pages can be messengers of news and good news is associated with the page of wands. It feels like, you know, you've been sort of in the desert here. There might have been separation, not a lot of communication for whatever reason, but I feel like this is the week or in the week surrounding this, this reading, you get that news, I can move towards you now. And that's going to put you at the crossroads where there might be some changes that you are needing to make on your part. So the Two of Swords is, you know, weighing it up. It's making the decision. 
um, you know, it feels like finally you can make this solid page of pentacles, maybe finally, you know, formulate a, a commitment here or take things to the next level. Uh, that's what the page of pentacles would show me. Okay, it's the potential becoming solid, becoming real in the 3D reality. So let's get some more for the outcome. Eight of Cups, yeah, and it feels like there is some kind of moving away from something that is associated with this. The Eight of Cups is, you know, in order to move towards this new opportunity, I may need to move away from, maybe it's this connection up here actually, you know, that has been the struggle. And often with new beginnings, there are doors to close as well. Eight of Wands, yeah, look at that. You know, the Eight of Wands for me is about change. Again, it's sudden change, but also this can be associated, both of those cards can be associated with travel or distance. So maybe this person lives afar from you and they couldn't move towards you until it was the right timing for them. But maybe this is the week that you receive positive news that allows you to move towards this person. And that is the first step, the first milestone of making this a reality. Finally, conclusions are within reach. Finally, the sacred flow of yes is here to carry you on the current together. And, you know, finally remove this kind of wedge of uh, the wrong timing, you know, between you. Have patience for just a bit longer. It feels like that final action, the final piece that you need, the, maybe the final message or news is on its way so that this can finally actually become a reality for you. So Scorpio, that's what I have. I hope that resonated for those it's meant for. Please do keep in mind being a general reading for the collective. It may or may not be for you. Uh, drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe on your way out to keep so many of the readings coming and support the channel. And I'm just wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care, Scorpio. Bye for now.